Hebrew Leaders by Owen, Victor, Kira, and Claire. Abraham. One of the prominent leaders of the Hebrews was Abraham. Abraham was the first known Jew according to the Torah. He was the first man to believe in one God. Abraham's belief in God was tested when God told him to sacrifice his son, Isaac. Just as Abraham was going to kill Isaac, an angel stopped him. Abraham used to be Ab Abraham, but he had a covenant with Yahweh. Yahweh said, I will be your God and you will be my people. I will give you the land of Canaan. Your descendants will become nations. He was the most important Hebrew prophet. Moses Moses was born in 1392 BCE in Moab, Syria. There was, at the time, there was a law in Egypt that stated newborn Hebrews must be put into the Nile River to drown, but Moses' loving parents hid him in a waterproof basket in the grasses on the banks. Finally, the Pharaoh's loving daughter found him and adopted him. She named him Moses, which means drawn from water. As Moses grew older, he became aware of his Hebrew roots. He always was very compassionate towards the Hebrews and tried to convince his grandfather, the Pharaoh, to release them. The Pharaoh refused until a plague struck, which killed the newborns of everyone. Moses led the Hebrews out of Egypt and to Mount Sinai when he received the covenant that turned into the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments are basic rules that people live by. When they reached the Red Sea, he parted the sea and he drowned the Egyptian army. After 40 years in the desert, the Hebrews finally reached Canaan. David Another one of the most famous and accomplished leaders is David. The story of David is amazing. Goliath, a huge muscular man, ruled David and his people's land. The people sent David to go and defeat Goliath. Though David was weak, he had to put his life on the line to get his people's land back. David defeated the muscular Goliath with only a sling and a rock after a long and grueling fight. When he, told the, when he went back and told the people, they granted him king. David ruled the people's land for a few years until he had a son named Solomon. A few years later, when David died, his son Solomon took the throne. Solomon was known for being wise, peaceful, and powerful. Solomon is also referred to as the wise man because two women came to him claiming, him claiming they were the mother of the same child. Solomon solved this by saying he would cut the child in two. One mother begged for him not to while the other welcomed it. Solomon gave the baby to the rightful mother. Solomon also built and finalized God's temple, now known as Solomon's Temple. Even with all of these achievements, Solomon was unhappy with his life. He was tempted to do the three deadly sins. Solomon had turned his back on God, so he thought his life was worthless. Thanks for watching!